Well, hello. Hello, everybody. This is Mama Sunfire. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm not going to be out here long. Um, I only decided to do this live because I am really answering a question in the form of a live. Hey, Martina, in the form of a live, uh, because it was easier than typing the answer to the question. And so I was in a, in, a, in a group, and a lady in the group asked what was the benefit. Hey, Terrell or Terrell um, asked what the uh, mugwort, uh, what, what is the, the benefit of mugwort. So uh, I'm sitting outside on the next stoop, uh, and I'm away from my pretty far away. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Smooches, girl. Um, I like your your um, your readings and your um, astro astrological um, readings and stuff like that. They're really great. Hey, Curtis. Uh, pretty, really informative. Oh, love you right back, honey bunny. Uh, miss seeing your beautiful face. So um, anyway, so the reason again, the reason why I'm doing this quick live, and and I do mean quick, because usually mine are almost an hour long and I don't have a really good connection. So let me just go ahead and get into it. So I'm doing this because I entitled it Plant Talk. Hey, Sylvia. And this is the medicinal and magical value. Hey, how you doing? Uh, how you say? Oluwame? I know I said it wrong, but I know who you are. <laughs> uh, medicinal magical value of mugwort. Now listen, uh, mugwort can be found all over. I actually found the mugwort that I have growing on my back porch. I found it growing wild. And so I took some of it um, out of a, a lot. It was a bunch of mugwort. And so I took a couple of uh, uh, stalks, uh, pieces it with the roots on it. <laughs> and, um, and so I'm doing a lot. Oh, and so I just transplanted in a pot on my back porch. And so now, the back um, back patio. So now, that's my daughter. I have some mugwort growing. Hey, Curtis. <laughs> and so here, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let's see. Okay, in my pot, this is garlic right here. But uh, anyway, and this is strawberry. I don't know if you can see that. Strawberry, garlic, and mugwort. And I got some beans growing, but they're not going to make it through the winter. Um, this right here is mugwort. And I know the lighting is freaking awful, so it's hard to really see. Um, it, I found that plant in my yard that we were talking. Oh, good. Okay, Sylvia. Um, send me a picture of it so I can remember. Um, this is mugwort, and you'll see it has the three little, I don't know if y'all can see that, three little leaves. It looks like it has a four has a spike here and then the one, two, three, four, five leaves, right? Five growing there, five leaves. And on the back of the mugwort plant, usually, and again, because you can't see, the lighting is terrible, uh, the contrast is really a green, a deep green or a, a nice, beautiful green. And then on the back, it's kind of light or silvery. Okay, so um, it looks like sometimes when it's growing small, it almost looks like parsley to me but it's not parsley. Uh, mugwort, the uh, botanical name for mugwort is um, Artemisia uh, vulgaris, and it's from the uh, Asteraceae family. And uh, really, that's not a big deal, but the Asteraceae family, just to give you an idea of, um, I have some at home for spiritual cleansing. Exactly, that's what I'm gonna say. Um, the the Asteraceae family, to know uh, one, when you see them, you, you know them by seeing daisies or sunflowers. You know, they kind of have that spray of flower around it. Uh, you know, nice petals with the central, um, uh, usually kind of a bulbous or rounded uh, petal uh, uh, center. Hey, Candelo. So anyway, mugwort is a fantastic plant to have spiritually and medicinally, magically, whatever term you want to use it. But let's just talk about medicinally first, okay? Uh, mugwort medicinally does all kinds, has, a, has phenomenal medicinal value. One of the first things I want you to know 
about mugwort is that it's, um, I always say it wrong, it's a am, um, am, uh, abortificent, which means for women, it can, if you're pregnant, it can cause contractions in the uterus and cause spontaneous abortion. So if you are pregnant or lactating, please, ma'am, do not use mugwort. However, the benefit of it is, is a, um, it's a nemenagogue, which means it helps to regulate your uh, um, menstrual cycle, right? So it helps support you hormonally, right? Uh, okay, and so that means it's a um, amenorrhea. Amenorrhea means when you have irregular periods. So it helps support a woman in the area of amenorrhea. I think I said, I'm saying it right to um, enable if it's abnormal, um, if it's abnormal for normal reasons. Does that make sense? If it's just um, just late or whatever, but not if you're pregnant. So keep that in mind. It's also a diuretic, right? Um, oh, let me just go, go back to the um, hormonal one. Because it's a, a great hormonal um, plant, it works very well for women um, with have menstrual issues, especially if you um, are um, um, menopausal or close to that where your periods are, are few and far between and you're having problems. So it goes well for hormonal support for women who are in perimenopause um, and you can pair it with black cohosh, wild yam and um, um, herbs like that. Uh, also, it is a diuretic. Uh, diuretic means it helps produce urine, right? So it's, it helps to detoxify and helps support the liver. Um, for that purpose, hey there, hey Amy, hey Mary, hey CL, welcome, welcome, welcome. So it helps support uh, the liver, it helps to clean and de uh, detoxify and helps with the bladder because it's gonna help help you uh, to get rid of toxins through the uh, um, through urine. So it's a diuretic. So you could pair uh, mugwort with dandelion root uh, or dandelion leaves. You can also pair it with, um, what was the other, chicory. Right, chicory. It also looks like a daisy. It's from the Asteraceae family. Uh, so, those are great. So, uh, moving along, it's a diaphoretic. Diaphoretic. Uh, diaphoretic means it helps you to produce sweat. Right. So, it helps you to sweat. So, that's great when you are dealing with fevers and dealing with a cold or flu. It helps you to detoxify through sweating. Um, it is also, uh, let's see, a diuretic, uh, diaphoretic, it's a, um, uh, a menagogue, I said that. Um, I think it's about, a, it's a nervine. Nervine are, nervines are plants that help support the nervous system. So in that, being a nervine, it not only calms the nervous system down, it deals with your parasympathetic and your sympathetic nervous system. So it, it also gives you calming, has a calming effect on the body uh, and, a cool, uh, uh, and a cooling. So it's an anti-inflammatory kind of uh, um, herb as well. So it has a cooling effect, right? But even with that, it deals with the body. Uh, it can be a uh, stimulant too, right? It can be a relaxant and a stimulant is really whatever the body needs, right? So this mugwort that can be found anywhere is fantastic medicine. So as a uh, relaxant, you can pair it with passion flower, uh, catnip. You can pair it with um, lemon balm. You can pair it with uh, valerian root. Uh, any of those uh, herbs that's going to be great um, for calming and soothing, right? Uh, but it also helps to relax. So you, um, it helps to stimulate. So you could also pair it with cinnamon or ginger, right? But it's going to work with your nervous system, right? So it's going to help with stress, the stress in your nervous system that's going on medicinally in your nervous system. Now, so that's the medicinal ish, uh, uh, benefits of uh, mugwort. And this, again, this is in my pot. Let me show you here. Uh, mugwort growing in my pot. So it's only a little bit, but next year I have a great bit because I have a, a volunteer that popped up in another pot that I have. And so I just found one little stem, which was this one. This long one is the stem that I found growing in a mist that, that I plucked in the midst of a bunch of uh, mugwort. And I brought this one home. And as a result of that, all the rest of these grew. So that's great. Um, and so in this pot, this is my stimulant pot, right? This is my immune uh, pot. 
So, uh, and my Nervine pot. So I, I have quite a few things growing in here, vitamin C in the strawberries, garlic here for um, warming the body. And then I also have some mugwort. So um, now with that mugwort, the spiritual aspect Hey, Stephen, the spiritual aspect of the mugwort. I hope you guys can still hear me, so give me a thumbs up if you can. Now, the magical or the spiritual aspect of mugwort works the same way as the medicinal value, which is why I use plants spiritually um, the same way I would medicinally. So, uh, uh, so spiritually or magically is the word that I love to use, and people are really scared of that word, but eh, get over it. Okay, so now, if you think, thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. I'm glad you can hear me. So now, if you think about what I was telling you medicinally about the mugwort, it, it works with the women's, it, with women's menstrual cycles, right? So that means it's a moon magic kind of plant. It is fantastic for women's issues. It's fantastic to use with the cycles of the moon. So that works very well. So if you think of the moon, Moon, the moon is considered to be a female kind of energy. Hey, Patricia, female kind of energy. So it's going to work for, hey, Connie, some female issues. So if you're wanting to do use the mugwort in terms of um, rituals uh, to support women, it's a fantastic herb for that. It is one of the most powerful spiritual herbs most spiritual people have. And so if you are a spiritual person, I would, I would say, please grow a bunch of mugwort. Um, one of the other reasons why is because mugwort, when I told you it's a nervine, it helps to relax. So in the terms of relaxing, it also supports uh, uh, sleep, right? It helps support spiritual or prophetic or psychic dreams. So you, it helps support lucid dreaming. I'm a lucid dreamer. Hey, dreamer. Hey, Paula. I'm a lucid dreamer. So I dream with awareness. Uh, dream right at the point of waking up, right at the point of consciousness. And so it supports astral travel because it's going to, to um, bring you to a place within your nervous system where that you can tap into uh, um, uh, unconscious kinds of uh, um, uh, areas, okay? So it's going to stimulate, it's going to suppress and stimulate at the same time. It's going to stimulate your nervous system in that respect, but it's going to bring you down calm, right? So that would be astral travel if you want to go somewhere. Um, you can use mugwort for that. I would just, uh, for blood pressure, Connie, um, I would, I think that there are other herbs that I would use that I would prefer to use for blood pressure, um, but it will support it a blood pressure because it's going to support the liver because it's diuretic action, right? Therapeutic action. So, um, but uh, with the astral travel, because it's going to take you to a place, right? Mugwort can be smoked. Yes, you can use mugwort in an herbal tobacco. You can mix mugwort with tobacco. And in doing so, it can really take you to places. This is mugwort is one of the herbs that a lot of the natives use because mugwort gives you those psycho, not psychotrophic as in, or psychedelic dreams like, like marijuana would, or um, what was the other, um, there's another one, the peyote and some other stuff, but it really opens up your psychic awareness so that you'll have those very uh, 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 fluid, very vibrant dreams, right? So it's going to support astral travel, it's going to support visions, and it's going to support um, this astral travel vision and um, lucid dreams. Okay, and so now a great pair, if you're going to smoke it, uh, a great pair is Damiana. If you smoke what mugwort and Damiana together, you might just trip. It might give you a little trip. So I'm just going to warn you on that. You've got to be careful with your formulations on that. Um, but it is really great. Hey, Maxine, it is really fantastic for that. So we got um, uh, Moon Magic or, or Women's... Um, women's work. Uh, it works with astral travel. The other thing is protection. It's really great for protection because it's going to support your nervous system. It's going to support your liver. It's going to do a whole lot of work for you. So it's great in the area of protection. And so it's going to work with your blood and things of that nature. So it's going to be great uh, for protection to pair it with protection. If you are a spiritual person and you're going to use mugwort um, for a spiritual travel, then I would I would use it with the idea of spiritual travel paired with rosemary for spiritual protection. 
So that is really great. Hey, Maxine, it's great for spiritual protection. Um, so, um, so with that, you can use mugwort in a sachet for a dream pillow. You can pair it with lavender to help relax you in a dream pillow. You could use it in a sachet for travel. Hello, Miss Brown. Um, you can use it in a sachet or a grigri bag for a protection along with other protective herbs. You can use it for detoxification. That would be for clearing and for cleansing. You can pair it with sage. You can pair it with rosemary. You can pair it with any other antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal uh, herbs. So um, you could do a tea with mugwort. Uh, if you want to use it from the aspect of cleansing um, and uh, calming, put it in a tea, marry it with lemon balm, again, oats, uh, marry it with uh, hops. You can marry it with, again, I said catnip, lemon balm, valerian root. Now, keep in mind, valerian root is very strong. It smells like stank feet and corn chips and all that kind of stuff, but it's very strong. Hey, Vip. Is very very strong. So valerian root people with valerian root who take valerian root generally, they um, uh, if you do too much valerian root, it'll give you kind of a lag. Um, so you'll be a little tired. Some people will be a little tired in the morning. So it is valerian root is a very powerful medicine. So I would be careful with um, adding too much valerian root. But um, I have a tea uh, that I formulated that is great, and it one of the features is. Um, of uh, uh, mugwort and i use uh you can use a little more mugwort um uh, connie you were talking about mugwort and blood pressure you can use a little a little mugwort but pair it with more uh, hawthornberry and hibiscus and that'll be a great uh detox and some dandelion because the dandelion is going to be the diuretic along with the mugwort so it's going to bring you uh cleansing and it's going to support uh your liver so that's what I want to say about mugwort. It is fantastic. And think about what it is that you want to uh, convey when you take herbs. Curtis, uh, such uh, knowledge. Thank God for you. Oh, thanks, Curtis. <laughs> yeah, so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, mugwort is great um, if you're going to do something um, that's going to support your stomach. It helps a little bit with the stomach um, if you're having issues with um, um digestion and you can't seem to get your stomach to you know if you're constipated it's not going to be a stool softener and it's not going to uh help you to relieve yourself from that standpoint but it's going to help you when your body begins to detoxify helps to pull out and support your liver from that standpoint so um that's what i wanted you guys to know about mugwort um i will be doing some more hey how you doing that's good. I will be doing some more videos um, on herbs. I, I said that I'm going to commit myself to doing regular videos on herbs, the medicinal and magical values of herbs. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, um, hey, Tommy, how are you? I thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about mugwort or anything about herbs or, or supplements, feel free to get in contact with me. Uh, I do have sessions that I, uh, uh, consultation sessions. If you're looking for a consultation, I can do that too. Uh, my rates are really great. Um, I really believe in support and not gouging. So my best, my, my idea is to be able to support you in your health journey. What do you have to lose weight? Well, okay, listen, I'm not even want to talk because I've been eating so much VIP. I've been eating so much. I started gaining weight again. I don't know. I guess being in the house with this grandbaby, I just... Uh, anyway, so um, there are a lot of things you can use for weight loss. Uh, black seed oil tastes horrible, but it's supposed to be great. Moringa is really great to support with weight loss. Um, ginger, garlic, vinegar. Though vinegar, uh, apple cider vinegar is, is great. You can start with that. Anything that's going to cleanse and detoxify you, uh, you can start with that. If you're wanting to do something for weight loss, I would suggest that you do a detox, an intestinal detox first. Um, that way that if you're having absorption issues or if you got a lot of toxins or, or, or fecal matter in your colon, you can, your first thing is to go ahead and detox and get rid of that and you will see some weight loss because we carry a lot of fecal matter in our, in our intestines anyway. So that's going to help for you. So if, uh, uh, for weight loss, I would definitely look into that. Sometimes coconut is great. 
uh, in conjunction with other uh, with other things. I think they use uh, coconut and brain octane and um, MCT MCT something else. I can't remember right now, but um, you can do any of those herbs. Um, the best thing to do, however, and I hate to say this, but it's not, I shouldn't hate to say it, but it is really the truth and we just won't do it. And that's a uh, good diet and exercise. That's the best way to lose weight is good diet and exercise. Um, but anyway, that is it. I am going, um, this is enough plant talk. Uh, I said I wasn't going to be on here long. Again, if you have any questions, I'm Mama Sunfire and you can find me at mamasunfire.com. Hello, Donald. Uh, it is M-A-M-A. S-U-N-F-I-Y-A-H-H dot com. And I'll put that information down in the contact um, field area there. And you guys be blessed. Smooches. Bye, bye. You tried apple cinnamon and it didn't work. Girl, you're going to have to do something else in conjunction with it, not by itself. Cayenne pepper, apple cider vinegar. I have some components of the master cleanse. I'll share the master cleanse with you, the recipe for it. And it's going to cleanse your body, but you're going to have to do it on a, on a liquid diet, though, Biff. Liquid, liquid diet for about 10 days. You'll lose weight. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.